isn't winter just the greatest time of the year. I mean, it's dark when you go to work, it's dark when you get home, and it rains a lot. Coming home to a nice, warm, dry house. That's something money can't buy. Well, it can actually buy, because I mean, money buys you a house, doesn't it? But who knows? I find it really hard to stay motivated during the winter. It's dark when I get up in the morning and leave for work. It's dark when I get home at night. Skate parks have reopened in New South Wales, but it's dark or it's raining when I finish work. So I don't get to skate. Normally I go and skate at indoor parks. They're all still shut at the moment because everything's going on in the world. I'm finding it really hard to stay motivated. Finished my actual work for the day, but I'm still working because I have to do things for work outside of work. Uh, I need a spare battery for work tomorrow. And then of course that also needs to be charged before it's any good. By the title of this video you can probably guess we're not just here to talk about the weather though. Relapse! Gotta say, 10 out of 10, do not recommend. It is not fun, it's not a good idea. I had 18 months, two days sober. Um, I relapsed in a pretty bad way. It'd be about 11 months ago now, so I'm coming up onto a year since that relapse. And I got me thinking about it today because my Snapchat memories um, came up and I opened them up and a photo of this absolutely handsome gentleman who is smiling and looks good, healthy and full of life, popped up. And I tried to recreate that photo tonight. Yeah, as you can see, there's been a bit of difference. I gotta say, the guy here, he, um, he looks tired, man, he looks worn down and he doesn't look as healthy as the other dude. And I gotta say, I can't put it all down to relapse. The last 12 months has been the hardest 12 months of my life. Like, the things I've gone through, the things I've had to overcome, and the things I've been dealing with, I was not prepared at all to ever go through this in my life, and I've learned some amazing, valuable lessons. And I sit here today with more tools in my toolbox and a better man than I ever have been before. And I'm doing really well at the moment. I am happy more than I'm sad these days, which is a very, very strange thing because for a long time now, um, I got used, I got used to being punished when things were going well. So I learned to make sure I was always looking how things weren't going well. And anyway, that's, that's another long, long story. But I'm happy these days. I'm feeling really, really good. I'm feeling a lot better mentally than I have in a very, very long time. I'm not disappointed I relapsed. I wish I hadn't relapsed, but I'm not disappointed about it because at the time it was the best I had. And I'm a firm believer in, you know, as long as you are giving everything you have and doing the best that you possibly can at that time, then you're doing pretty well. And at that time, that was the best I had. It was, it was all I had. And uh, yeah, was it a good idea? Was it a bad idea? Who knows? At the time, it was all I had. It's happened, it's been, it's gone. We're moving on from there. And now that my mental health is back and I'm feeling a lot happier and a lot better. Things in my life are starting to smooth out. It's not ideal, um, but it's going well. Like I'm, I'm happy. Like I say, most of the time I'm happy at the moment. I can't, I can't even explain how, how good that is. I was sitting down the other night and I was just thinking, you know what? I'm actually happy. I actually feel happy. Which is a, it's a really good feeling. It's taken a hell of a lot of hard work to get here. And as you can see by that guy in the photo tonight, I'm really, really tired. I'm really, really tired. And I think now I, I need to switch my focus in from 
trying to get through and trying to survive to actively trying to get better. There's a lot of things I still do in my life that are very unhealthy. I still smoke cigarettes. I wanted to quit cigarettes three years ago, you know, and I still smoke and I've, I've managed to cut down as much as I can. It's getting to the point where I really need to just stop. Um, you know, drinking, I need to get back to not drinking at all, having no alcohol in my body again. I need to get back to that. I need to get back to adventuring and getting out and living and my life's in a routine now for the first time in honestly God knows how long, probably three years, my life is in a nice, pretty steady routine and everything's going well. So like I say, it's time for me to start focusing on getting better, I think. That's, yeah, that's about all I wanted to say tonight. But honestly, relapse, if you can help it, don't do it. Don't go down there. You know, I kind of thought, like, in that moment, I thought, like, I need to let go right now. I can't, I can't do it anymore. And I gave in. And I thought it would be easy to get back because, you know, hey, I've done it before. I can do it again. It's not easy. I know. You know, smoking's the same. I've given up smoking, you know, a dozen times in my life and the long periods of time without smoking. But then you have one at a party and, you know, a couple of weeks later, you have another one with your mates. And for me, anyway, within two weeks, I'm back smoking again. So, yeah, I think, um, I think my big lesson from relapse is, well, A, don't do it. But second of all, is to understand that one is too many. One is too many. If you make a healthy choice and you start putting things in place in your life to make yourself healthier and make your world a better place, stick to it. Back yourself. Because you got this. You got this. I got this. And I'm going to get back to getting it again. Anyway, that's enough rambling for tonight. Hopefully, hopefully we will have some adventures coming up this weekend. I do have an exciting announcement that will be coming up in the next video. So if you want to catch that, make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Check us out on Facebook. Links in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. See you on the next one. Bye. Don't wait me. Up.